Question number 80 is from experimental physics and it says something like this. A student measures the time period of 100 oscillations of a simple pendulum four times and the measured values are this. If the minimum division in the measuring clock is one second, that means the least count of the measuring clock is one second, then the reported mean time should be. So these four are the measured value and how is it going to be reported? That's the main thing. So first of all, what we'll do is that we'll calculate the mean value of time period, which is 90 plus 91 plus 95 plus 92 and divided by 4, this value comes to be 92 second. And that's no problem because everywhere the value given is 92. But the question now is, how are we going to report the mean time in this particular way? So this is the absolute error or what we call as the mean absolute error many times. So let's try to find that delta t. And that now value would be, of course, t1 minus delta t, the magnitude, plus, or we should something like write this in this way, t1 minus of t and t2 minus of t plus t3 minus of t plus t4 minus of t. What are these? Like this is the error of the first reading, the measured value minus original value error of the second and we have taken the mean of all divided by 4 so that will give us the mean absolute error that's how any reading is reported so in that given situation this value on calculation would be 1.5 second but we know our device has a least count of one second so in that situation 1.5 second is not the way how we are going to represent it we got to round it off and on rounding the best possible option would be two second or there's no question of best possible this rounded off would go to two second so that would eventually lead to option number four so that was with question number 80 we'll now move to question number 81 question number 81 although it's simple but it requires a thorough knowledge of graph of different semiconducting devices now, even from this particular question, there is a very strong indication like semiconducting device. This topic is not in advanced syllabus and this topic is specifically in main syllabus. And here you could see that these topics which are exclusively only for main syllabus are being focused in a very great degree. Even the question before this, you must have seen that there are at least three questions from those topics which are exclusively only meant for JE mains. So during the preparation, this thing has to be taken into consideration. These are the graph IV, 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 and this is resistance versus intensity. And we need to identify that these graphs are of which. The option is Zener, simple diode, light dependent resistor, solar cell. And later I've written everything in short form. ZD means the Zener diode. This is the solar cell. This is the simple diode. The first option has been written in detail, then the abbreviation has been used, light dependent resistor. Let's see. This one is a simple diode, the forward bias, reverse bias condition. And this eventually finishes everything because the first option is simple diode and here is that. Now, you see, but still we can go in this way. This is a Zener diode where it's in a reverse breakdown mechanism. This is of a solar cell. And this is of a graph indicating the decrease in resistance with intensity of light. So it's something related to light dependent resistor. Although, as I've already said, even just by seeing the first option, the question could have been solved. It will have option number four. The question number 81 has that particular solution. Now let's move to question number 82.